and now we need to get started working on some jewelry to put on this side. I'd like to get started with a pearl necklace. These are seed beads and these are two millimeters, which means that if they're two millimeters, that would be equal to 24 millimeter pearls, which are pretty rare. They would be this big. Yeah, those are very, so this is, these are very wealthy people. And these are a little bit too yellow. And I think I'm going to use this one, okay. I tried using a regular needle, did not go through. I'm going to make a 24 inch in length necklace. So a 24 inch is going to be two inches. So I need a little bit less than this. I need this many. And this is the kind of needle that I need to use. It's called the big eye needle. And it's pretty much a piece of wire. I don't know if you can see it. And it's like in a shape of a V. The thread goes in the middle. Okay. I tried using beading wire, but then they were too stiff. So I'm going to use regular sewing, multi-purpose multi thread. And just goes into that V. And pick up the bead, the, the seed beads. Some people can pick them up from the mat very easily. Until I get all of them in my thread. This is what I have so far. And I think I'm going to leave my thread double. Just for safe, just for safety, we're not gonna be tagging or anything, but I'd like to know that it's not gonna fall apart all by itself. So now I'm going to tie a surgeon's knot, which means I go left over right. and then right over left. And one more just to be sure. And then I can trim off the ends. So we have a 24 inch le in length pearl necklace. So this is one piece. I think that we should also have some gold chain necklace. And let me see, I have these little bits of leftover. And these are probably gold. Have this little piece and this is probably the one that is the smallest the most refined and this would be a heavy necklace so I'm going to use this one for this one I want to make it a, just a little bit longer than the pearl necklace. So I'm going to cut it right around here. And to join them together, the only thing, the only thing that I could think of 
was to use gold thread because all the other jump rings and everything that I thought of are too big. So I have thread the color of gold and I will not be needing much of this. Again, I'm going to use my open needle just about half on the last chain on the last oh this is gonna be tough oh okay and then make sure it's not twisted Same thing on the other side. And then I'll tie them the same way. One knot. And then another one going the opposite direction. One more extra safety. Okay, so now we have a pearl necklace and we have a gold chain too. Maybe you can see it better on a black background. Now we're gonna need a ring. For the ring, I will be using 28 gauge wire. So I need to make a bend. So now I have it and it's looking right up. And then with the, with the round, round nose plier, going around in the opposite direction. And when I get to, to the uh, beginning, when the two pieces of wire join together, I will go around it. One time only. I need to maintain my ring, my circle. So when I trim this off, Cannot undo the circle. Okay. Okay, so I still have that little circle. Now I'm going to put this is the diamond, it's a, a seed bead as well. I try different ones, but if I put this one, which is actually a faceted crystal, it's gigantic. So I'm going to use this one, it's a lot smaller. And so the little wire that's, that's sticking out, this wire that's sticking out, I'm going to trim it so that it doesn't peek out. It just has to be a tiny little stump. And then the wire that I folded over to close the ring, I'm also gonna trim the excess. Maybe I should hold them. Okay, let me hold it with these pliers. <laughs> it's difficult to work with such tiny And 
whatever part I'm gonna tuck it in okay okay so the little piece that it's sticking out the little stump that's sticking out I'm gonna put some glue on it okay just on the little stump and then that will go inside the hole of the seed bead and when it dries it will maintain it right there but I'm gonna have to hold it until it dries this is the lid of a can of coffee today it will get to be a bangle a bangle for a woman is usually seven inches we're gonna make it eight inches so that it can be three quarters of an inch. So if this is three quarters of an inch, then I can cut what is outside. And I'm gonna try to round the corners just a little bit so that they're not sharp. Well, let's suppose that this is the wrist. Somewhere around here, maybe where the two sides almost touch. Okay, so here's the little bangle, a little thick bangle, and we could even put some gemstones with the same glue that we have been using. Since I already have this glue out, and then I'm gonna put three little stones right there. Hopefully they're in the center. Well, let me put this background. Maybe it will allow me to show you a little bit better what we're doing. Right here, I took the little bit left over of the wire that I used for the rings, and I just glued a seed bead to the top of it. This will be stud earrings. So the next thing to do is just cut it. So that's one little earring and hopefully I'll be able to cut the other one at the exact same length and now we have the two stud earrings let's see what else we have I also made this little bangle to make the bangle I used the same wire that I used for the rings wrapped it around the handle of my painting brush this I thought would be a reasonable size for a wrist. We also have the cuff that we made from the foil from the coffee can. This I have to tell you is not very structurally sound. I can squeeze it, I can open it. This one is more firm. We have our 18, our 24 inch pearl necklace. We also have our gold chain necklace and I added just a couple of, of beads right here at the bottom and it also helps me hide the thread that I used to join them together. And then these were the hardest thing to make. This is the ring. We have this ring that it's a ruby and then we also have the diamond earring so this is all of the jewelry that you, we were able to create today 
we have nowhere to store it. How do we bring it to the vanity? Well, that will be for the next week. If you join us, we will be making a jewelry box and I hope that you enjoy this video and we thank you from Lloyd Dollhouse. I hope you stay with us and have a great rest of your day.